Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. This is the final countdown. I've met up with Justin, Stephen and Jamie Jackson. Um, and we're here to discuss um, the race for the top four, how Louis van Gaal is doing and the players. But first things first, that victory over the Scousers. Harrison, I watched you on Redmen TV. You alluded to the fact we're a little bit lucky and you got slated by some United fans in the comments. Have you changed your mind on that, having seen the highlights? <coughs> I don't think, if I said lucky, then I said lucky. I don't think lucky was what I really meant. Um, I also said it was a boring game, and I stand by the fact it was a boring game, but boring doesn't mean that we played bad. It was a very dominant performance from United, but it wasn't Turin in 99, was it? It wasn't cut and thrust. It was, we closed Liverpool out, we didn't let them have a lot of stuff, and you know Rooney didn't get in the mix too much. It, it was a boring game, but that's not to say it was a bad performance. I enjoyed it. It was just boring. And I'll take boring against the Scousers and getting three points all day long. Not a problem. I think, honestly, I think it was boring. Red really card, good. penalties. Dom, I thought the first half an hour completely well, yeah. all over him. You know, a bit of drama, they got back in the game. You know, Gerard, 38 seconds of sending off. I think, I think that was perfectly. one of the most exciting games at Anfield we've had for a long time, if I'm honest. And an absolute worldie of a goal. The goal was something else, yeah. Apart from all that, yeah, you're boring. <laughs> the, the general play it's wasn't serious. back and forward, was it? It was very... But I just thought it as well, the first flat. half an hour, the way we were, I think, you know, I think the most was, optimistic Red couldn't have expected I that. think it was a performance that we've come to see of like a, a Jose Mourinho's Chelsea where they dominate the possession, mm -hmm. score goals, and they're, they're solid in defence. I thought we were pretty good, apart from De Gea getting beaten at his near post, um, which was a bit of a shock, given that it wasn't the best was effort from Dynastone. Was it not a little deflection, story. though? Because it was, but I, I thought, thought he still should have saved fair, it. Yeah, because um, he said that he was pointing when he at Jones, yeah. and then after the game, I think Van Aal said that in the change rooms, De Gea was saying there was a bit of a deflection, and on, on the telly, they were arguing that it was a little bit of a nick that sort of took it away from where he was expecting it, uh, because that was the, a massive shot, because when Sturridge went through, I just thought, he's not going to beat him from there. Yeah. And then as soon as I thought that, he went in. <laughs> How do you think that leaves us um, in the race for the top four? Come to you, Jamie. Yeah, n nice, I'd say. It's five points, isn't it, to Liverpool now? Um, bit of a killer for them. Um, I'd say that not just the points, manager, but the way in which you, you played um, th that game, obviously, Liverpool and Spurs. And Spurs, for me, was back, that was the best I've seen United play since the Ferguson last season. You know, you might have a different opinion about that. You might pick out maybe Leverkusen away in that Moy season or, or, you know, one other. I think we've blanked most of the Moy season. Well, yeah. you know, <laughs> I, I obviously did that final uh, title season and, you know, since. And it was just like how it used to be, really, for, for United. So that's what I would be pleased about if I was a, a fan or, a, you know, anyone who's connected with United. Just the way it just suddenly clicked after that Arsenal defeat, you know what I mean, in, in, in the FA Cup. Suddenly, everything he's been saying, Van Aal, about how it will click at some point. I know he said three months and then that obviously got length and you just didn't think it was going to come and you started to think, oh, is he a little bit, you know, out of, out of time or a little bit behind, behind what, what you really need. But I don't know, I'm, I'm impressed with how United have been playing. You know, and, and the thing about the Spurs game was it was enjoyable being there. I kind of take your point, you know, I don't think it was boring, but and I know you said you didn't really mean boring, but I, I agree with you to a certain extent, but they were in control, weren't they, United? Which is oh, great yeah, away there. in control at and Anfield. The first maybe 30, 40 minutes or so, you would look like Liverpool was not getting an absolute yeah, sniff. And yeah. actually, when Gerrard went off... That's when the we game sort went of in their the, favour. That, yeah, yeah that, that definitely went against us, <coughs> didn't it? Yeah. Because, like you say, we stopped pressing them, we stopped closing them down, we started giving them a bit more space and time on the ball. The crowd seemed to wake up a bit, because I know you could hear, you know, the United fans were in good voice, but the, the Scousers weren't. Um, and it galvanised them a little bit, and in many ways, we took our foot off the pedal. And then the goal sort of came from nowhere, really. Their, goal, kinda, their goal came from nowhere. We, we said before, didn't we, that had Gerard not got sent off, he said something like, oh, we co I cost my team the game. You didn't, Stevie. I think, had he not got sent off, 2-3-0 win for United and comfortable three points. Um, top four qualification in the bag? I wouldn't say it's in the bag. It's, you know, <laughs> come on, we're all United fans. Well, you know, we've seen United in the past, haven't we? We never do things the easy way. But it's looking a lot better than it did after the FA Cup defeat to Arsenal when we were all pretty despondent. If we're honest, there was a few question marks being raised about Van Gaal. Was he right, even, you know, was he the right man for the job? Even the most optimistic of us were beginning to, to worry. But like Jamie was saying, going back to that Spurs game, I agree, I think it was going back to Fergie's last season. It was as, as good as that. It reminded me a bit of the, you know, the, the Villa game at home in his last season when we sort of wrapped up the league. So yeah, I think it's not in a bag, but I'd be, amazed, I'd be very, very surprised now if we didn't make the top four at least. And I think we should be looking beyond that. I think we should be looking to try and catch the, uh, the blue half. Do you think we could do that? 
Blue half? Blue quarter. <laughs> <coughs> no, I don't think we can do that. I know we can do it. And I actually think we're going to come second. I really do. I think we're going to overtake Arsenal when we play them. But before that, we're going to have overtook City when we play them. Uh, we should pick up three points against Villa and if we end up going to Stamford Bridge and getting a draw or even losing in all honesty I think we'll be in such a good position by then that we can come second I think City's running Arsenal's running everybody's running's like a little bit especially Liverpool's as well they've got a real tasty running I really can see us coming second we said it post Newcastle I think that the bigger teams the more adventurous teams are going to leave space in behind us and we struggled against them the lesser teams that just come and sit two banks of four in front and just go attack us and that's where we've struggled to break them down we've not really had the penetration in those games but the bigger teams they leave more space we saw it a little bit against Arsenal we were unlucky really against Arsenal in the cup and I think this next run in the games this style of play is good enough to overcome City it's good enough to overcome Arsenal it's good enough to at least get a point I think at Chelsea and I think second place is where we should be looking comfortable top four the the Ch- I mean, maybe it's easy for me to say because I'm not a United fan, but I actually think you might beat Chelsea there because I just, I think Van Aal. He doesn't lose often at home though, does he in the league? No, he doesn't. But that's why I, th- I just think. I just, I, just, I just think the way. Not in the league though. I know it's only two performances in you know two games, but just the way, and, and you know Van Aal is a time served manager as we all know. He's got the pedigree. He knows Mourinho very well, obviously former sort of mentor to him and all the rest of it. And it's just, I just get the feeling that. I don't know how they're going to go there and, and, and just do it because the bonus, I would say, or one of them is Di Maria not being in the team because if you can get him playing in, in, mm. in that team, you know, like how he can play, you know, like winning the Champions League final for Real Madrid, if you can get him in with proper pace and all the rest of it, you're going to be a, a lot better, aren't you? So, you know, it's all ifs and buts, but yeah, I, I'd, be, I'd be staggered now if it's not top four. Staggered. I mean, if I'm going back, sorry, to what you were saying, Jamie, about sort of Van Allen, his, our best performances have probably come against the better teams. You know, we look at City away down to 10 men, really unlucky and really not to get some out of that. Yeah. Arsenal away, all right, we rolled our luck a bit, but we got, we got a win. Liverpool at home and away. So there have been big performances. Um, Arsenal in the cup, we got the best record in the top five against right, the rest right, right. of the top yeah. five. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. So it sort of goes back to what you're saying, that we couldn't go there and maybe surprise a lot of people. And going, adding on to the City thing as well, I, I wonder about City's sort of hunger and ambition with Pellegrini there. Is he going to be there next season? Are the players up for it, as perhaps United players are when you know you sort of playing for your place, you're playing for a manager. Kind of yeah, I just Checking wonder it. whether we City might City fans that I speak to have got no uncertainty whatsoever. They're sure that he's not going to be there. That's one. You wonder whether the, <coughs> the players sort of that affects them going into these games. Whereas United players obviously know they're playing for the places. Some of them are playing for contracts, and Van Hal's going nowhere. Last question before we wrap up part one: um, Do you think top four qualification? We've got the dis- we had a disappointment in the cup. Do you think that is a successful season um, for Louis Van Hal? Uh, yeah, considering you finished seventh and under Moyes, and it was pretty dismal, wasn't it? Let's be honest. And I mean, a top four finish, and, and if you finish the way you've been playing these last two games, that that you know, it's not it's not a, it's not a classic United season. Don't get me wrong, where you're winning everything and all the rest of it, and you, you know you're in proper contention. But I think, given the Ferguson thing after that, the hangover from that, I don't even think people at the club realised how much it was going to take effect. I mean, I know you know as fans, you'll know how, how, how good he was. So yeah, I think a top four finish is great. That's all he want. That's all he want because obviously the top four. Be even easier. Well, it's always difficult, but even easier to get the players in that you want this summer, and then you're kind of almost flying a little bit again. I think if we finish second or third and not just scrape into that top four, I think you consider that mission accomplished. But I won't call it a good season. It's not a vintage season, like Jamie just said. But I don't think it's a, a, a yes and no question. So I think these, these shades are grey in there, and I'm going to say it's mission accomplished. But let's not get carried away next season we, we really have to kick on because coming second or third again would be seen as failure so that's our goal for this season is make sure we get into that top four or higher and then let's see what happens but I'm not calling it good sorry for laughing you said shades of grey there it just reminded me of Old Trafford yesterday watched the game at a screening Daily didn't come up on the screen and a bloke behind me said it should have been Christian Graham <laughs> <laughs> that's a question though Jay um, <laughs> top four is it a good, is it a good season um, <laughs> I think, I think a lot depends <laughs> as well. You've got to remember, who will be pushing into fifth? If we get fourth and uh, a certain team from down the M62 come fifth, I think we're all happy with that, aren't we? Let's have it mm. right. So, yeah, I think top four, that'll do me, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be happy with that. I, I personally am still gutted by the FA Cup victory, uh, sorry, defeat against Arsenal, the way it happened and everything. Because I think with the performances against Spurs and Liverpool, how they've gone, imagine if we'd won that, how we'd be feeling now. 
And it's just one of those missed opportunities. And over the last 11 years since we've won the FA Cup, there's been so many of them. And I love that damn competition. Well, we, we said the winner of the tie was coming. The winner of the Cup was coming from that tie. So I would expect Arsenal to push on and go and win it now. Definitely. And it, it should be us. It should be us saying that. <clears throat> What have we got to the final against Liverpool and it had gone wrong? Could you stumble? Well, we see now, we've seen what happened yesterday. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, um, that's, top, uh, that's part one done. Um, we're going to be back with part two, which is on Louis van Gaal. And of course, part three, which is on the Manchester United players themselves. Make sure you check that out. Subscribe to Full Time Devils. Get involved in the comments below. Do you agree with Harrison, Jay, Jamie? Let us know um, and get involved. We'll be back for part two, so check that out. Are we any clearer now after this week with the victories over Spurs, over Liverpool, Jay? See, I always struggle with this word philosophy. I think it, for, for months it just was a bit meaningless.